Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in with me again, but I want y'all to get into this jerk chicken pineapple bowl that I made with this creamy coconut jerk sauce or something on there. It's so good. So first I started with the heated pan and I added uh, about two tablespoons of olive oil and I put in my chopped vegetables, which is onion and garlic. All the measurements and everything is going to be in the description below. So you're going to saute your onions and garlic until it becomes fragrant and translucent. Prior to this process, you want to make sure that you have washed your rice until it is clear. You don't want it to have any kind of starchy stuff hanging around. So back to my onions and garlic. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of butter to that so it can reach fragrancy. And then also it can, you know, just cook a little bit better because I didn't put a lot of olive oil in the pan. Once we do that... We're going to add our washed rice to it. You see how it's fragrant, translucent there? We're going to add that washed rice right onto the pan. Same pan for everything. This is kind of similar to how I do my dirty rice. Um, that makes me so hungry right now. <laughs> but anyway, so once you uh, add the rice, you're going to go ahead and mix it up and make sure that you get everything coated and all of that flavoring, that garlic, that onion, all of that flavor. And then we're going to add a cup of water and we're going to do a cup of unsweetened coconut milk. Remember, if I don't give a measurement or anything, it is going to be listed in the description box. I'm, you know, speeding through this and I'm just trying to get back used to doing voiceovers for these videos. One day I'll be in front of the camera, but I like to stay behind the scenes. So once you go ahead and you uh, get everything combined, you're going to add your spices. Spices will be listed below, but I do know that I added the jerk seasoning here. And I'm not sure if that was dry parsley. And then we're going to do two bay leaves. Um, like I said, description and directions will be below. You want to use a scotch bonnet. I could not find a scotch bonnet, so I'm going to go ahead and tell on myself before y'all get to eat me up in the comments. That is just a hot pepper because <laughs> I needed it to have some kind of spice, and that was the hottest pepper that I could find. So moving on, once you get everything combined and the water comes back to a boil, as so you can start seeing those bubbles. You see everything looks pretty much seasoned, and it looks tasty. So once you get everything excuse me once you get everything uh started to boil then you go ahead and put the top on now in my cast iron skillet i went ahead and added maybe two to three tablespoons of olive oil and i let it heat up and then i made sure i you know coated the whole pan just roll it around roll it around roll it around roll it around and um yeah so now we're going to cook our chicken thighs these are boneless chicken thighs they are seasoned to perfection with chef v cakes cajun seasoning and i also have jerk seasoning on them as well i didn't use the uh liquid jerk season well the wet jerk seasoning shall i say because i don't know i like it but it has a it's a after, I don't know, it's some it's something in it that I don't really care for. So I do like the powdered versions better um, until I can make my own jerk seasoning and figure out like what is it that I'm not really caring for in it. So I cooked that chicken for about three to five minutes on each side until I had a nice sear. Now, y'all, make sure y'all check on y'all rice. I am the absent-minded chef and I really forgot to check on it. You gonna see once I start to fluff it, Where's this one spot right there? Look, and <laughs> it stuck to the pan. It looked a little crisp, but it's okay. So I'm going to add a can of red kidney beans. You can also use fresh kidney beans. Just make sure you soak them overnight and cook them before you add it. But there's too many steps, honey. So then I added a half a cup of coconut milk, that same unsweetened coconut milk. Now this part right here, I wish that I would have just put those beans and that little bit of coconut milk in the rice when it was first cooking. That would have cut down so many steps and I wouldn't even have, you know, been right here worrying about doing this. So I did go ahead and season, like I make sure everything is seasoned, but it's not salty, okay? And I used a little bit of my Cajun seasoning there just because I really love that flavor and I love that color that it kind of gives food, especially with that smoked paprika in there. It just kind of brings everything together and I really like that. So... Give it a good mix. It should be good. I'm going to taste it, make sure that it's flavored to my liking. And I'm just going to sit the top on it and put it to the side because it, it's pretty much done. And it's perfect for stuffing in that bowl. So as you see, there's the seasoning right there. 
just a little bit more. Obviously, I tasted it in the honey. I needed some more, so that's cool. But that's all right. That is okay. You need flavor. You need seasoning. You need your food to taste like something. But you don't want to put too much that you overpower. Look at my old labels. Look at my old labels. <laughs> but you don't want to put too much in that you overpower the flavors of the food. Like you still want to taste the different layers. So look at my chicken. Mm, mm, mm. I can eat my screen right now. <laughs> but it looks so good. So it's nice and seared on both sides. Super juicy. Ooh, y'all. Mm, I'm so hungry right now. So sit that chicken to the side. I'm going I'm about to go make me some chicken right now. <laughs> but sit that chicken to the side, let it rest for a few minutes and then don't clean this pan out. We need this pan, okay? So just make sure that you remove all the little extra giblets that could burn and keep all of that. All of that stuff in the pan, we're going to render it out. So boom. There go the butter again. <laughs> two more tablespoons of butter. It might even have been three, but let's just say two because we want to. We still want to be somewhat healthy. This is not a healthy meal, but it's decent. It's decent, you know. So go ahead, let that butter melt down, 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 down to about that. You don't want to burn it, so make sure you don't burn it. You just want to melt it down enough so you can kind of uh, scrape that stuff off the pan. So I added the rest of my coconut milk. And baby, I don't know if that can was huge, but it seemed like it had a whole lot of coconut and milk to give. But anyway, so mix it on up. And you see, look, it looks like a gravy or some sort of a jerk sauce. I need to make a pasta with this. Like, mm. and it was delicious. So this is this is almost how how I would do a gravy. But of course, you know, with the butter, I would add flour and then, you know etc etc but this is a really nice way and i think this might even be a healthy type gravy like you know coconut milk is really good and it doesn't have a flavor but it's it's thick so it will make a good cream for you so i did add a bay leaf and i went and i added some of that jerk seasoning i didn't add anything that had salt to it just because i figured that everything was already salty i may have done like a pinch or two of uh cajun seasoning just to kind of you know immerse the flavors of that jerk seasoning but that's about it and then i just went ahead and i mixed it on up let it reduce some yeah and then bring it to a slight boil it should you know start to bubble over like that and then i am just going in and i uh put a little bit of water in that coconut milk can and i was just you know adding a couple drizzle here a little drizzle there just because so i can keep it the consistency that i wanted and also so i can get all my money's worth because y'all know groceries is high so i want to get every drop out of everything that i got so y'all see how it's starting to become saucy now like look when you move your spoon and i know i'm and i know i'm irritating y'all using this spoon because it is not a whisk or anything like that but i don't like washing dishes so get into that so anyway go ahead and you know just keep on mixing it up until you get the consistency that you want and it looks like a nice thick but smooth gravy like so this looks perfect i'm so hungry watching this over <laughs> so i'm literally i'm playing in it oh my gosh what is wrong with me I want y'all to see the sauce, the saucy sauciness. I cannot believe this is my first time ever making this ever. Like I've just thought of it and I was like, oh, let me try that. So this is my chicken. I'm going to go ahead and chop it up. Don't you all be talking about me putting my hands on the chicken. This is my chicken that I'm eating now. When you make your chicken, you going to eat it. I, I won't even be there to see it. My nails are clean. I scrubbed under them and everything. Y'all just always be picking on me. Nah. <laughs> so, chop that chicken up to the sizes that you want. I didn't really want bite-sized pieces. I wanted to still have some nice chunks. But look how juicy that is. You can see the juice, like, just illuminating off of the chicken. And my nails was cute. So, don't even talk about my nails. So, cutting this pineapple in half was hell because it was so freaking thick. And then at the... At the top where the leaves are, like, it was just drama. Drama, 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 drama. So, finally, once I get the pineapple cut open, bow, then we got to gut it. 
So I ate all the inside of my pineapple. I cut slices in it and I used um I used one half, I just ate raw, and then the other one I put in my Nutribullet and I made like a um a smoothie. I think I used oh I should have made a video of that, but I used a coconut, I used a sweetened coconut milk and the pineapples and made like a like a sherbet, I guess it would be called. It was so good. I'm gonna have to do run that back. Anyway, so you make sure you gut your pineapple out, get all the pieces out, make sure you remove the core because you don't want to be eating that. And then be careful because the bowl, you know, the bowl get a little whatever, whatever. But I like to leave a little bit of flesh in mine. And I'll even scrape up some of the bottom and just keep it in there because I really love how that pineapple flesh tastes with the jerk sauce and the chicken and the rice. It's so good. Like you need that, that pineapple flavor in there. So now to plating, we're going to go ahead and throw our rice and beans in that pineapple. And we're going to top it with our chicken, of course. Lots and lots of chicken. Low me up, Scotty. <laughs> I'm so corny, y'all. I don't have no jokes. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and add our sauce. Sauce me up, baby. Look at Proctor down there like, ooh, please drop a piece of chicken. He waiting so bad. I don't, why is it taking me so long to pour the sauce on here? Oh my God, y'all. I thought I edited this right. It's literally taking a year. Should I keep this in here? <laughs> so now we're going to add the sauce. Dang. It was like 10 seconds of nothing going on. I'm not I'm not taking it out. Oh well. So this is <laughs> this is how it looks right now. Oh, look at that chicken juicy. Look at them beans beaning. Look at that sauce saucing. Oh, I'm hungry. I have not ate my lunch. I'm gonna show y'all another angle though. Here go another angle. Another angle a little bit closer. So you can see from the side view when I put that rice up in the Yeah. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> I'm silly today, y'all. I I have to go to work. I don't want to go. But yes, look at that. It's beautiful. And the rice came out perfect. Sometimes, y'all, will not lie, I be hit or miss with the rice. It's because I be doing too much. I be doing way too much. All right, and now here we go with the chicken. That was another, like, 10 seconds. I don't Vonti, what are you doing? But chicken, the chicken looks great. I want, I'm about to make me a chicken sandwich. This is why you don't do your voiceovers before you eat anything. Because then you're going to want to eat everything that you see. And another long pause for the sauce. Oh my God. Y'all, I'm not editing this out because it's really funny. Because why am I sitting here for 20 seconds waiting to pour the sauce? I really thought I edited this properly. Oh well. I don't have no jokes for y'all. <laughs> But yeah, so then you just add the sauce and everything was really, really good. I was really satisfied with the way that this came out. And I can't wait to run it back. This is going to be on the menu come spring because I just know my people at Ford are going to enjoy this meal on the line in the summertime when we go on our breaks. You know, sit in the back and smash your pineapple bowl. Guys, like, share, comment on my video. Let me know what y'all want to see from me. Let me know if y'all want me to step into, into the camera. Y'all want to see what I'm looking like these days? It's been years. Thank you for watching so much. I appreciate you.